Do not adjust your television. This is a white squirrel. What? <laughs> the what? <laughs> I'm serious. And they dwell in Olney, Illinois. You know, you've always heard stories that, you know, we were the only town, and I used to hear when I was younger that if you would take them outside of town, they would just die. And that's not necessarily true. I found out in older years. But um, yes, I've always grown up knowing that we were special just because of the white squirrels. I'm the squirrel lady. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows me by the squirrel lady. As the squirrel lady, she's rehabilitated hundreds of white squirrels. I started um, working here at the city in the 80s, early 80s, and the guys at the city park seemed to get a lot of calls when a squirrel would be injured. They would call the city park thinking, you know, somebody there might know something about squirrels, and the guys for quite a few years tried to take care of the squirrels the best they could. Well, then they found out that I was an animal lover, and they asked me, you know, would you like to try to take care of one of these squirrels? I'm going, I have no idea what to do. So they kind of gave me some, some hints and I tried my hand at it with some success. Well, I think it's important to encourage the white squirrel population because it's our heritage. And I, you know, have grandchildren and I want my grandchildren to know, you know, what Olney was like um, with squirrels in it. And um, I think that's the one thing that I can do is to rehabilitate each one that, that comes to me and, you know, if you can just help by one at a time, if that's the best you can do, then that's what we need to do. It was sort of a joke at first, but actually they're very cute for one thing. They're absolutely adorable. And we really got into the whole white squirrel culture. I mean, it is something that is really different, very unusual, very attractive, very cute, and we absolutely love them. There are a couple stories on how the squirrels came to town, but 1902 was the year. A farmer type of person was out in the county and he was hunting because squirrel hunting was uh, you know, a way to feed your family, especially in the winter. So he was out hunting and he happened to see um, a white squirrel. And he trapped him and brought a couple to town. And they were put on display at a local saloon called Jasper Bank Saloon, which is in the downtown area. And um, after a while they were on display and being on display there, it caused you know, quite a, uh, an excitement because people would come to town and it was a draw for the, the tavern. You know, people would come in and, and maybe buy something to drink or whatever just to see these squirrels. So it was quite a draw for him to have them. So um, after a while they were in captivity and I think the um, citizens of Olney were a little upset because they were being kept in captivity and they were asked to be released and they took the two squirrels and they released them. Well after a while they noticed that there were some baby squirrels that were um, in that woods and they were white and they said the population grew from there. Around the 1940s the white squirrel became a town symbol. Since then, they've appeared in signs, stores, and song. I want to tell you about a certain place I know Where the squirrels are wider than the widest snow They can cross any road Cause the streets are paved with joy You can see them run around by the lakes and parks You can almost see them glowing in the dark Much to the delight of every girl and boy well, I think it is a source of pride to have the squirrels. It's something you're being identified by, and it's important to have some kind of identity. Um, because I go different places, and they go, oh yeah, you're from Olney, the home of the white squirrels. It's like, that's right. So they know us. So, you know, that is a source of pride for us. And it's something that we can all help prosper. It's very important for the town to have the white squirrels. We laugh about them sometimes, we joke about them sometimes, but it's a very important thing for our town. If I'm known for something, something that I've done good, that's great, you know. Maybe if I can go down in history by being known as a squirrel lady, maybe my grandkids and their grandkids will be proud just to know that, you know, we had a hand in helping the white squirrel population prosper. In a town called Olney in Southeast Illinois I'm going to Olney to see the snow-white squirrels